Groundbreaking cancer developments that could change the landscape of health forever. A new blood test able to pick up on 10 types of cancer years before a person falls ill. It could come, become available within five years, scientists say. Trials on a number of patients found this simple procedure. Looks like it's effective. Let's bring in Fox News medical correspondent Dr. Mark Siegel to break it down. Wow, fascinating discovery, doctor. It's called a liquid biopsy. Basically, the idea is that tumors make mutations. They make abnormal DNA, and that DNA is in your blood before you could see it in the tumor. So they scanned the blood looking for this abnormal DNA or genetic material, and they actually found it, and we're talking Cleveland Clinic here, in a high percentage of the cases. 1,400 patients were studied. They, they looked at colon cancer. They looked at ovarian cancer. They looked at lymphoma. Actually, ovarian cancer. And pancreatic, and too. And pancreatic. Wow. So, so listen, Liz, pancreatic and ovarian are two biggies because you, you never get to see them until it's too late. Right, deadly and silent. This right? is the yeah. future for those kind of cancers. Very promising. We need more numbers. It's too early for this to go out on the market. It's a couple of years Wait, away. We don't even have any companies linked to it yet. But Not yet. It's and, this, and then Harvard. Harvard, Harvard has, has another study where they've looked at 127 lung cancers and found with about a 50% accuracy finding it early and 80% finding wow. it late. The point is genetic markers, abnormal DNA, finding cancer before you can see amazing, it. Amazing, amazing stuff. Let's get to another amazing medical breakthrough. According to a major international study many women with early stage breast cancer who would receive chemotherapy under current standards now do not actually need it it's expected to quickly change medical treatment right doc now this is here this one's not in the future. This is here. This is now. This is a study that looked at 10,000 women over a decade and used a tool that we knew about called Taylor RX, which looked at 21 genes for abnormalities. And they found basically this. If you're a woman that has, lung, that has breast cancer and we know that we can cure it by taking the tumor out, early stages, then the woman says to us, well, wait a minute. I am, you're going to give me radiation. You're going to give me hormone therapy because I have hormone receptor positive. What about chemo? And we have used this tool in the past. If you were high risk, you got chemo. You still get chemo. If you were low risk, but now you, you don't, they're saying you don't need chemo. But if chemo. you're an intermediate risk, which is 70,000 women a year in the United States wow. are in an intermediate category, now we can use these genetic markers to tell chemo or no chemo. And the majority of the time, it's no chemo. Wow, they don't so need that's to poison thousands themselves. Thousands and thousands where they don't get poisons, their hair doesn't fall out. That's they a don't big get deal. nauseous. They don't risk cancer or infection. Secondary cancers or infection. You are you love these developments. You're passionate. Because it's, fired it's, it's personalized it's medicine, deal. Liz. Yeah. This is personalized medicine. Okay. Woman by woman, patient by patient. Love it. Doc Siegel, love you. Come back soon.